I don't, uh and, th and that, that's why, honestly, I was like, it's boring. Yawn. Like, well, I was thinking it was about time for me to film a favorites video. And then I noticed I've had some misses lately. And so instead of doing like a favorites video and then like petty reasons I don't like products or products that I didn't care for, I thought I'd do a hits and misses video. And to be honest, I'm not sure if I've ever done this style of video if I have. It's way back in my channel history. I've been on YouTube for quite some time and I was just too lazy to check. So I haven't done one recently, so I'm gonna do one today. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I guess I should go kind of back and forth between hits and misses, right? And the first hit is actually kind of what inspired this video because I've just enjoyed them so much recently. I have talked about them in the past and they're also partnering with me on this video and that is Dong and Bee. Dong and Bee is a premium Korean skincare line and I personally have a lot of history with them. I've used a lot of their products in the past. I've gifted a lot of their products in the past and I've also been taking the KGC supplements for a very long time which is the ginseng that is featured in this and also kind of like the mother brand of Dong and To give you like a little brief history of the Korean ginseng, why it's important and why the Korean ginseng featured in Dong and is so different and unique, Dong and features Tongwon Jung Korean ginseng and it is basically the premier Korean red ginseng. So why is their Korean red ginseng so unique? It has a lot to do with how the ginseng itself is grown and harvested. Not only is it grown in very nutrient rich soil, but it's also allowed to grow for six years. Now Korean red ginseng is one of those ingredients that's super rich in vitamin D and B12. It's also known to help improve circulation of the skin, which is gonna bring more nutrients to the skin and also help with collagen production. It helps with elasticity of the skin, brightness of the skin, overall tone. It's a powerful antioxidant and it just really works on the cellular level of the skin. And it's just one of those ingredients that if you're looking to prevent aging, or you're looking to help with the signs of aging, I'd highly recommend looking into Korean red ginseng, specifically from Dong and Bee. Now that I've talked your ear off about Korean red ginseng and my passion for it, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some of the products that I have been using. So this is the Red Ginseng Daily Defense Essence EX. This is actually kind of like a lightweight serum-y type of product. I use this after I tone my skin and it absorbs really nicely into the skin. Like I said, it's very lightweight, so you can not only use it in the morning, but you can also use it at nighttime and I just find this pairs really nicely into my summer skincare routine. I just love using Dong and Bee products. I feel like because they're such a premium skincare line, I feel like it's an experience when I get to use them. So I always look forward to like my Dong and Bee stuff. Now the next product I'm going to be talking about was actually a product I saw as I was filming another video, which I don't know if it's going to be going live before or after this video, but I saw they have this Hydro Bounce line and then Dong and Bee sent me this, which is the Red Ginseng Hydro Bounce Cream Fresh. So I hadn't tried this before they sent this over, but I was really excited because for me, this was not only the perfect summertime addition, but it's also a more affordable line underneath the Dong and Bee brand. So of course this features the Korean red ginseng in it, but this also features it coupled with hyaluronic acid. It just kind of gives my skin a nice suppleness. It's lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. Now both of the products that I just discussed are available on Amazon, and I also wanted to show you guys this set, which is also available on Amazon, but I have actually talked about these products before on my channel, so I'll go ahead and link down in the description box below anytime that I've talked about Dong and Bee. If you guys are looking to try Dong and Bee, you wanna gift them, and this is the Firming Skincare Set EX. I'm just so excited that I'm seeing a lot of my favorite Korean beauty brands featured on Amazon. I've been doing a lot of videos recently talking about Korean beauty brands and products on Amazon because I just think it's a great way to get access to these products. I remember when I first started my YouTube channel, it was really difficult to get Korean skincare. In fact, I would like literally have to go to Korea, fill up my suitcase, bring it back to talk about skincare products. And now you could just shop on Amazon. Like it really doesn't get much easier than that. Dong Me was generous and wanted me to share a giveaway with you guys. So there will be three winners and three codes given out to those winners. So I'll put the information down in the description box below if you guys would like to enter for a chance to win. Now I guess let's go into a miss for me since we're kind of going back and forth. And this one, I was a bit sad about because I had high expectations for it and I feel, I don't know if guilty is the right word for not loving this as much as I thought I was going to, but it is the Biore UV Watery Gel. This is an SPF 50 plus PA 
quadruple plus. This is from the Aqua Rich line. And if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know that I love the watery essence. This is one of my favorite sunscreens. I pretty much always have backups of this on hand because I love how nice it goes on. It feels like nothing's on your skin. It gives you good protection. I did not have the same experience with this product. And the reason that I don't like this is because it goes on my skin really streaky and it just feels like it takes so long to work it onto my skin and I do not like products that I feel like I'm creating a lot of friction with as I'm using it on my skin. I like to kind of baby my skin and not do too much, you know, agitation and I feel like when I apply this sunscreen on, I really have to rub it in to get it to smooth out. Now, I know this does have like a little bit of a brightening effect, which is fine. Like that's not the problem I have with this. It's just you can literally see the streaks of it on your skin and it doesn't rub in properly. I don't know why this doesn't work for my skin because this is pretty highly rated. So this is probably just like a Morgan problem, but I I don't like this. This was a miss for me. And since we're in the summertime, I'm definitely wearing sunscreen. And so I'm just going to be using this on my body, my neck and chest, and that's how I'm gonna be finishing this off. But. Okay, so the next hit that I've had recently are the 3CE Sheer Liquid Blushers and Velvet Blushers, Velvet Liquid Blushers. Basically, they're liquid blushers. Um, I picked these up from YesStyle, and I have two of the Sheer Liquid Blushers and then one of the Velvet Liquid Blushers. I absolutely love cream blushers and these are no different. They go on so nicely and they give my skin just like a beautiful glow. And since it's summertime, and honestly, nowadays I don't wear a ton of foundation. I wear like very lightweight face makeup. I like using these because it just blends and melts into my face makeup or even just onto my, my skin. And it looks so natural and pretty and dewy and the sheerness, you can still kind of see through it. So like I have freckles on my cheeks here and I can still see the freckles and I feel like it gives my skin that natural flush look. They blend really nicely, they last a long time and they look really natural. And they don't like stain my cheeks, like they're pretty easy to blend out, which is usually my issue when it comes to liquid blushers like this. So they're easy to work. But yeah, I would definitely recommend checking these out if you are a big fan of like the dewy cheek look like me or you like using a liquid or cream product on your cheeks. These are so good and they have good pigment to it. Great color selection since they're from 3CE. So I have so many good things to say about these. Let's go for the next miss, which is gonna be surprising because I've used a lot of this product, but I've been really, I've been really trudging through it, you guys. Like I've not been enjoying my experience with this. And this is from Muji. This is the oil cleansing. And the reason why I picked this up is because this is designed for sensitive skin types. And I do like Muji skincare, that's what's so funny, but I don't like this. And what's ironic is I'm pretty sure I've used this in the past and didn't like it, and then I forgot, got another bottle of it, and then remembered like, oh yeah, I don't like this, what am I doing? <laughs> It's just Muji for me is one of those brands that like they're very good about not having a ton of extra fluffy ingredients in it. They don't typically have fragrance and also it's nice because they have like specific lines so like I can just pick from the sensitive skin line and I'm usually pretty much good to go. However, it's not anything as far as ingredients that I have a problem with this. It's the performance because it is so thick like it's a very high viscosity oil cleanser it's so hard to get off my skin. I don't, uh, it's a lot, it's a lot. And again, I don't like to agitate my skin. I like to like keep it to a minimum. And with this, I'm just like, is it off yet? Is it off yet? Still there? Is it off yet? My next hit is something that is perfect for those of you guys who like light face makeup or you like second skin foundations or makeup and it is from the I'm Mimi brand and it is the I'm Bare skin tone color. <laughs> I believe this is technically a foundation. I have it in the shade 003 Deep and this is like, it fits my skin really nicely. Like you can see I have it on my face today and I feel like it's a pretty fair match. I like this because it's basically like a my skin but better type of foundation. It gives my skin a little bit of coverage, but it doesn't feel like heavy or icky on my skin. And especially, cause you know, we're all sweatier 
in the summertime. I don't want to feel like my makeup is like melting off my face. So I don't have that with this. It feels very fresh on the skin. I like that it gives my skin a little bit of coverage without looking like too much. I also like that this is long lasting. It blends really nicely. And I don't even really set this with powder to be honest. Like when I'm wearing this, the only areas that I really set are under my eyes because I tend to move my eyes a lot because I'm kind of expressive when I speak. And so, I like that I can just rock this by itself, keeps my makeup minimal, I can apply this very quickly, and I just love the way that it looks on my skin. Let's talk about another mist for me, and it is actually another skincare product, and one I've used a decent amount of, which, you know, <laughs> I'm just trying to get through some of these. I don't wanna waste them. Um, and this is from Holica Holica. This is the Honey Relactin Serum Mist. And I heard the name Serum Mist, and I was like, oh. Yes, I'll probably really enjoy that. My dry skin will just soak that up. And this is one of those like biphasic mists where you shake it together and has like the oil part and then the water part or the liquid part. And you know what? It doesn't do anything for my skin. I notice no difference if I'm using this or not. I don't find my skin feels any more moisturized or hydrated or supple or soft or anything with this. So I've actually <laughs> been using this to try and get through it. Not very good, I don't know. Again, I think I saw good reviews on that and I'm just not impressed. My next hit is, again, something I find myself reaching for a lot. And I'll be honest, when I first unboxed this on my YouTube channel, I gave it a hard time. I wasn't that impressed by it, but then I found myself using it every day. So riddle me that. But it is the Peri Para. This is the Shall We Shall We Cherry eyeshadow palette. And I gave it a hard time <laughs> for the same reason why I find myself using it a lot, and that's because it's just neutral. Nice quality neutral palette that I like the shades in, that go well with everything. I don't have to think a lot about my eyeshadows, and they perform nicely. And, th and that, that's why, honestly, I was like, it's boring. Yawn, like, I can't get any new looks out of this. And then here I am using it every day. And some of the eyeshadows in here are really spectacular. Like I love this like middle shimmery color. The mattes are lovely for Korean matte eyeshadows. This one's maybe a little bit boring, but that's actually the reason I found myself using it a lot. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this little hits and misses video. I wanted to pick out some products that I've really been enjoying as well as some that just we're not doing it for me. And I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want more of these videos because I only hit on a couple products. I could probably go back and forth and find a ton of things that are hits and misses because I try so many things. But these were just standouts to me recently. I felt deserved my opinion being out there on the internet for. I will link everything down below in the description box. You guys can pick them up, check them out, read about them if you feel so inclined to do so. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.